Hi everyone, welcome to Europedia Education. This is Chandrasekhar, mentor for electrical and electronics engineering at uh, Europedia. Today in this video, I'm going to discuss about the strategy, mentor strategy. I'm going to give you the strategy for the preparation of uh, HBCL uh, written examination preparation in the branch of electrical engineering. I'm going to discuss the past uh, weightage from each subject and uh, how to prepare each subject, what is the subject to start with, all these things I am going to discuss. In this video, I am going to discuss. See, HPCL uh, uh, in a paper, I can say the technical part is going to be for 85 marks. The technical part is going to be for how many marks? 85 marks is the total technical, 85 questions. In fact, 85 questions they will ask, right? And the time is very important in HPC examination. For each question, the time is given less than one minute. Therefore, most of the questions are theoretical, but good questions. Sometimes good questions they will ask. Most of the questions are theoretical. Okay, I can say in 85 questions, 80% of the questions are theoretical. 20% will be small numericals means i can say a numerical where a very small amount of uh, calculation is involved okay that kind of numericals will be asked not too big numericals right so 85 questions in the technical part so what are the subjects we have in electrical engineering in electrical engineering uh, if you prepared for gate there are a lot of subjects but the orientation of the preparation for uh, this uh, I can say uh, HBCL examination is very much different from the orientation of examination of uh, gate examination or engineering services examination. Very simple questions are asked. See, out of 85 questions, I can say uh, 20 questions will be good questions. Remaining 80 questions are very uh, remaining. Uh, 60 65 questions are very easy questions. Those 20 questions also. In fact, uh, they won't ask any depth question. Suppose uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, they asked in 2023 about a transformer oil, almost three questions they asked, right? But if you are preparing for gate examination, you won't that much concentrate on transformer oil, right? Uh, you mostly you are inclined towards the numerical means. Even if you are preparing for the engineering service examination, you will be knowing the name of the transformer uh, oil that is used, but uh, one or two properties, but not about uh, uh, some uh, good part about transformer oil, right? And uh, distribution, Distri from power system, distribution is there. Mostly people will neglect the part of distribution if they are preparing for gate examination. But uh, in 2022 gate examination, more than three questions were asked from distribution part. And power system protection uh, in gate examination, one question may or may not come. In engineering service examination, good amount of questions will come. But uh, in uh, HPCL examination from power system protection and distribution, most of the questions are asked. Power system protection, distribution are very, very important. So what I want to tell you here is, uh, you have to cover all the corners of the sub subject. See, you need, you need not to go in depth. You need not to go in depth. Suppose if this is the total subject, if this is the total subject, for gate examination, yes, uh, you are going to cover this part. This is very, very depth part. It is having a depth. But uh, for HBC examination, you have to cover all the corners of the subject. You should not leave any corner. If you leave any corner, that fellow may ask one simple theory question from that corner itself. Suppose uh, if you go to the subject called power electronics. In power electronics, uh, about uh, these uh, power devices, power IGBT, power MOSFET, these devices uh, uh, for gate examination just we will we'll be uh, for gate or engineering service examination just we'll understand that but uh, remembering each and every minute detail of the device uh, which is there in our uh, curriculum is very very important right uh, applications of power MOSFET, power B, uh, IGBT so these things are very very important right so here the HPCL examination is the examination which is going to test your width not your depth width means whether you covered all corners or not for example if you go for dc machine in dc machine three point starter and four point starter are very very important for hpc examination in both the years 2022 and 2023 one question has been asked from this three point starter but whereas you can never expect a question from this starter three point starter and four point starter for gate examination right because most of the people who prepared for gate examination they feel like the preparation is adequate for this HPC HPCL examination also but not HPCL examination is the examination which tests your width 
means all directions you have to cover all directions in power system generation for for gate examination most of the people will leave the generation part but definitely one question one or more than one question will be asked in hpc examination from generation part okay i can say the areas which you didn't cover for a gate examination or the areas you have to put your complete effort for your hpcl examination preparation and do not go in depth it is going to waste your valuable time do not go in depth right yeah observe here these are the weightages of, of 2022-2023 yeah here one very important point i want to tell you emft most of the electrical engineering they are preparing for any concrete examination they they won't prepare that much from the subject uh, the subject electromagnetic field theory but emft is very 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 important if you see 15 questions i can say equal to the weightage of any core subject or sometimes more than the core subject they ask the questions from emft in emft also no depth question what is ampere circuit law what is curl what is divergence this kind of questions only do not go in depth if you are going depth, it will kill your valuable time. Do not go in depth, right? So, 15 questions in 2022 and 12 questions in 2023 were asked from this, uh, I can say, electromagnetic field theory. Very, very, very important. It is going to, this will be a deciding factor of your selection. Okay, well, because most of the electrical engineers won't prepare EMFT by thinking that it is very difficult, it is one of the easiest subjects if you understand. And my request not to go in depth, do not solve big, big new vehicles. Okay, having the cor every corner, okay, having the knowledge about every corner of the EMFT is very, very important, right? Next subject is electrical measurements, electrical and electronics measurements. You know, they may ask questions from uh, uh, diesel old meters also, four and a half digit like that because uh, there, there is a question in in HPCL 2022 paper about 400 digit dbm digital old meters right so uh, about ct ct and pt number of questions you can find in a 2023 paper okay ct and pt is very very important and uh, extension ranges of old meters and ammeters is very very important right so see in fact uh, don't think that what that is given in the last examination is going to be repeated in the next examination but not but what my point from my uh, this video what you have to understand is uh, covering all the corners of the subject is very very important uh, not in depth uh, just you cover all the corners theoretically and some small numericals if you are good with the subjects what you studied in your beta curriculum enough you need not to go for a complete competitive mode see gate examination is the one uh, which is uh, going to test your depth of the knowledge means whether you really understood or not your logical aptitude a lot of things it will test but uh, this examination just whether you have knowledge complete knowledge on the subject or not right next uh, power electronics you see from power electronics a lot of questions were given those questions are from especially from the first chapter that is uh, first chapter and the choppers see questions are there from all the chapters but uh, in gate examination you won't expect a good questions or a uh, good number of questions from the first chapter that is a uh, uh, power electronic devices but uh, in uh, here in hpc examination on the topic power electronic devices lots of questions were asked right next uh, power system power system from power system the unimportant areas for gate are the generation uh, and i can say distribution but from those two areas uh, more number of questions uh, will be asked in your uh, HPCL examination, HPCL electrical examination, then electrical machines. You see, electrical machines, you will find most of the questions from transformer and DC machine. Transformer, especially test the conductor on transformer and uh, transformer construction, transformer oil, and a transformer phasor diagram. See, uh, if there are, uh, I can say, uh, here uh, in 2023, 19 questions are there from transformer. In this, uh, 10 questions, uh, sorry, from electrical machine, in this, uh, uh, sorry in this uh, 10 questions are from transformer 10 questions are from transformer so transformer is that much important transformer is that much important right 10 questions and uh, some four questions are from induction machine and uh, uh, i can say some two questions from dc machine and some one question from synchronous machine synchronous uh, machine but a uh, transformer is very very important and a dc machine also maybe in this one dc is given less but here uh, a DC plus a transformer, most of the questions, and then induction machine and a synchronous machine. So, this way questions were asked from electrical machine subject, right? So, here you see the importance of the subjects. People will feel that measurements is not important, but measurements is damn important for your HPCL examination. 
measurements, power electronics, EMFT, power system, electrical machines, network analysis. You see, in 2022 from network analysis, 18 questions were asked, whereas in 2023, 10 questions were asked. In power in networks, again the important things are damn basics about KVL, KCL, parallel combination, series combination, star to delta, delta to star, in AC, how to find power factor, impedance, admittance, susceptance, these things only. And especially the important part in networks is that the magnetic circuits, in magnetic circuits about self-inductance, mutual inductance, coupling factor K, yes, mutual coupling, so mutual coupling M and uh, mutual mutual induction coefficient, self induction coefficient. So like this, uh, the questions on this uh, uh, chapter, especially magnetic circuits is very, very important. Definitely one or two questions for sure will come in HPCL examination. Questions on magnetic circuits, right? That is why, why I'm stressing here on that topic. People will leave that topic when they are preparing for gate examination and for engineering service examination. But if you go for uh, uh, this HPCL examination, magnetic circuits is very, very important. See, entirely, I can say 80% difference you can find from gate examination and this uh, HPCL examination. I can say 80%, though you have very good depth in a transient analysis uh, in uh, for gate examination, but that's not going to be useful here. You can solve very big circuit, but you, you didn't remember the formula that M is equal to K into under root L1 L2, you lose one mark. Right, M is equal to K into under root L1 L2. If you forget that formula, if you have, if you didn't remember that formula, no use of. Uh, e, though you have very good depth knowledge about, uh, uh, I can say the theorems and all, but it's not going to be useful for this HPCL examination, right? So HPCL examination is a simple exam. In fact, uh, uh, everyone, even average or below average student, uh, can aim for it. I can say. You need not to spend a lot of time uh, in uh, understanding depth concepts. Just you read it, understand it, and remember it. But do not try to mug. Some people, what they do is they try to mug, which is going to be uh, 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 a bad uh, idea. That is uh, really a bad idea. So I ask you, subjects are very simple. Concepts are very simple. Okay, if you connect one subject with other subject and uh, uh, like just like in gate examination and they are going in depth, uh, there it is required for you to think a lot, but here it is not required for HPCL examination. Then in network analysis, uh, I told you uh, the important topics are uh, uh, important topics are DC analysis, theorem, theorem definitions and just application of theorems and uh, magnetic circuits especially, magnetic circuits especially and the two port networks that are y1, y12, y21, what, what is its description and how to find these things, two port networks and uh, uh, about the uh, basics of uh, inductor and capacitor and uh, about dielectric and dielectric constant, lot of questions were asked in both the papers in 2022 and 2023. So one must have no, um, one must have the basics of capacitor, dielectric and inductor, uh, magnetic material on all these things, right? So that will be covered either in uh, electromagnetic field theory or in network analysis and uh, miscellaneous topics like analog electronics analog is there just like they will ask some questions some diode or zero diode or bjt some one or two questions they asked previously and uh, there may be good number of questions in future examination in 2024 examination there may be good number of questions okay we can't predict it but whatever may be the see these subjects whatever may be the subject he is going to give but he is going to give very simple questions by covering total subject right and uh, yeah See, one question that was given in 2023 and before 2023 there was, there was uh, in 2022 there is no question, questions, are, questions are zero and some questions from mathematics especially from Laplace transform is uh, were asked previously in 2023. Five questions were asked. You know, Laplace transform is very very important uh, if you want to study subjects like control system. Anyhow, control systems is not there in the syllabus of uh, uh, this one because no question were given, no questions were given, no questions were given. Yes, and uh, syllabus uh, uh, and the paper pattern uh, he will release soon. But by expecting that the uh, same syllabus is going to maintain as that of previous examinations, uh, you start proceeding your preparation. Anyhow, subjects like network analysis, uh, power system, power electronics, EMFT, and measurements definitely those water of the syllabus extra is going to keep. But these subjects will remain same and uh, the orientation of the preparation should be to cover its width all corners and I suggest you to solve 
previous all engineering services examination and gate questions theory questions and simple numericals where calculator is not involved and other PSU examinations uh, questions also you solve then definitely you get one idea and uh, mostly uh, you can cover all the corners of the subject so this is how you have to prepare for your HPCL electrical engineering examination preparation all the best if you have any queries uh, you can dial to my number with respect to your preparation 891999705 within uh, 3 to 4 days we are going to start one tailor made module for your HPCL electrical officer inter uh, this written examination preparation see tailor made module means uh, we are going to teach absolutely what that is required for, for your examination nothing um, nothing extra which is not required for your examination which is going to kill your valuable time so completely in the orientation of examination we are going to start more within two to three or four days uh, uh, for electrical uh, uh, electrical officer uh, uh, this written examination preparation all the best join your hands with your PDA if you have any queries uh, call to this number or you can call to the number that is uh, mentioned in the description you can form you can fill the Google form if you are interested to uh, enroll in the module uh, enroll for the module or uh, just you open uh, your PDA website you can find a uh, contact number uh, there you can contact so in any manner you can contact your PDA your PDA is there always uh, for your preparation to help Thank you.